Tucked away in the town of Bolivia, there's a place called the Wat Carolina Buddhist Monastery. It's attracted Buddhists from around the country for more than two decades. As WECT's Craig Reck tells us, the temple celebrated a once-in-a-lifetime event this weekend. Craig? It was quite a sight, Michelle. The temple had to clear nearby trees just to make room for more parking spaces. All this for the 27th annual Dhamma Yut meeting, which changes location every year. And this year's event was nothing short of enlightening. Ordained in Thailand, these monks spend two years in the States, but most stay longer. They're kind of like, in a sense, uh, the missionaries of Buddhism. This meeting attracts monks and other Buddhists from around the country. It's such a big deal, even the monks are taking pictures with donated cameras, of course. They're reliant on the lake community for all of their support. To us, it's, it's a grind. It's, it's a hard life and it's a grind trying to uh, proliferate the religion here in the country. It's this monk's first time at the yearly conference. Coming all the way from San Francisco, he says the large gathering is a morale boost. Sometimes for some monks, they'll feel like uh, they're not anyone who understands them or everyone, you know, you're, you're the only one in that position. But when you see other people, you see other monks, you feel you feel encouragement. You feel like you're not the only one that your, your job has purpose. They don't have a real job, and money doesn't exactly grow on trees, but their contribution to the community is invaluable. What the monk has to offer us is training, training in the ways of happiness. And that happiness is sent out in waves as the monks chant after their only meal of the day, a harmonious gift for all those who serve them. It's like a major pilgrimage uh, that they have this opportunity to come and be part and partake in this, this uh, event here. The volunteers are rewarded and the monks are encouraged. We'll be more steadfast in our resolve because we know that we're part of a big group and there's a big emphasis on where we're going and together we can reach it. And all those Buddhists brought the bucks. The monks originally planned to stay at the temple, but zoning regulations put a stop to that. Instead, the hundreds of Buddhists turned to hotels in Southport. The few managers I talked to today say they were excited about the sudden boost in sales. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Craig Reck. Michelle, back to you. I bet they were excited.